Hi everyone, I'm Josh Thomas, the PM of Portals, and today I'm gonna to give you an overview of its functionality and how you might use it within your applications. So we're going to take a look at a demo application we created that we're calling Portals e-commerce, which is an e-commerce application we built to embed a few portals just to show how this works. First, we're gonna take a look at the pod file. So this pod file, you can see our dependencies here are capacitor, ionic portals, and capacitor camera, which I'll show a little bit later. As we look at this application, I already have the emulator running, and we can see here's a list of different products that are available. We can drill into a specific product, we could add it to cart, and we can look at help and get assistance in this particular product. If we look at the other tab for the cart, you can see that we have an item in the cart, and we can go through checkout process if we'd like, and place our order. And then we can go to a user profile screen. And if we'd like, we can edit information, add a new address, add a new payment method, and we can even change this photo. Now this application, we worked with a web team to identify what areas of the app we wanted to be portals and what we wanted to stay native. So here's what our storyboard looked like. We wanted the main tabs to mostly be native. So the shop tab is native, item detail is native, but the help screen is a portal that has a React Ionic application embedded within it. With the cart tab, the actual checkout modal is a portal. So everything we saw within checkout modal was portal. And then everything within the portal, the profile tab was a portal as well. So let's prove this. Let's just show for sure that this is how it's working. So we go to an item and we go to help. And you can see here, everything highlighted in blue is actually a web view. So all of the content that's displayed within it is coming from this Ionic React application that's embedded through a portal. Let's take a look at the actual code. In this case, we have a help page view controller where we're setting up the portal. We're setting the starting route to be slash help, setting that as initial context, and then showing the view. Let's take a look at the corresponding React code. Here we have the help page and you can see this is fairly straightforward. It's just an Ionic React view. Get assistance or lorem ipsum. Pretty straightforward. Let's take a look at another page. In this case, we'll take a look at the user profile page. Just to prove again, everything highlighted in blue is actually within a web view. And when I choose that, to choose a photo, this is actually native. So as I click this button, it's coordinating with native in order to take the picture. What's the corresponding native code look like? In this case, the Swift code is very similar to what we saw on the previous help page view, where we just set the set starting route and display the view. But for the corresponding React code, we're importing the capacitor camera plugin in order to be able to take the picture. We can see here, as I click the add icon, it's calling the on click handle picture click, which goes down to take a picture. And for the take a picture, we're actually calling camera.getphoto and passing cons some constraints to it. Let's take a look at the last view, the last portal, and we'll add an item to our cart. And here, as we click checkout, we're actually displaying a modal, and that entire modal itself is a portal. So here you can see the checkout view. And in this case, we're also subscribing to an event using the portals plugin. So when the dismiss event is passed, it's dispatching the queue and destroying the modal, dismissing it from view. And just to prove that this actually is entirely web, we'll take a look here and inspect. So to see the corresponding React code for this, look at the checkout page. 
and you can see that we're importing portals from Ionic portals. And whenever the cancel button is clicked, it's publishing the dismiss event, which is communicating back to native in order to dismiss this view. So that gives you a good idea of how the implementation works and the communication happens from native to web. But for web developers, we expect them to do development within tools that they're familiar with. So in this case, most of the development of these pages was done outside of the native application. And the development was done using Chrome and VS Code by web developers. And that's because this is, in this case, a single page app that's being displayed for three different portals. The help portal, the profile portal, and the checkout modal. So hopefully this gives you a better idea of what portals is actually doing behind the scenes. Thanks for listening. And if you'd like to learn more about portals, go to ionic.io slash portals today, download and install it. Thanks.